This video is going to be a shorter version of my more in-depth tutorial showing you how to create an animated butterfly wing. So this one is going to get straight to it. So once you've got your butterfly body in your scene and you've created your plane with the texture on here, this is how you basically animate the wings. So you want to make sure you've got that plane selected, press C to make it editable, go to Mesh, Access Center, put this on 100% and select execute so that's going to move that pivot point right to the edge which is perfect then we want to create a symmetry and we want to put the plane in the symmetry now select your plane and just move this to the side go ahead select the butterfly body place it in the center of the wings go back to your symmetry Select your plane, go to Tag, Cinema 4D Tags, select a Vibrate, enable Rotation, put this on 0, put this on a value like 45, and the frequency is going to determine how fast or slow these wings are going to flap. So as soon as I press play, there we go. Now adjusting the starting angle here right at the beginning, if I select the plane and I angle this up a little bit more, will also determine the overall angle of how these wings are going to flap. But while it's over there at frame 0, I'm going to create a keyframe. And now when I click play, you can see there's a much bigger angle. But you can also adjust the overall angle over here. So if I put this on something like 70, you'll see that the angle is more exaggerated. In order to get this butterfly to follow a path is very simple. So the first thing you want to do is go back to your vibrate tag activate regular pulse so that's going to allow these butterfly wings to actually start flapping and if we increase the frequency to something like five it looks a little bit more believable so we're basically going to be drawing out a path using the pen tool so the first point that you place is going to be your starting point and if you hold down the left mouse button you'll create some curvature and you definitely want some curvature on your path so the last point that i'm going to place here should end where the first point is so that's going to be the beginning and the end now select everything your symmetry which is going to be your plane and the butterfly body right click group it into a null right click and go to align to spline now you want to drag your spline into the spline path okay you want to activate this option over here and now you'll see if i scroll on this position it follows the it follows the entire path so you want, on zero you want to put this on zero percent Go to a hundred uh, go to 90 frames and put this on a hundred percent and then place another keyframe now if your butterfly is flying in the opposite direction or an incorrect direction all you have to do is just swap these keyframes around but that's how you get the butterfly to actually follow paths so you can see it's going in reverse all I have to do is swap these keyframes around click play and now I'm good to go Alright, so it's as simple as that. Now what you guys decide to do with this is completely up to you. This type of method is going to be ideal if you're working completely within Cinema 4D. If you want to see how I prepare these objects as an FBX to export them out and use them in other programs, definitely, definitely go and watch the more in-depth video. But now of course you can go ahead, once you've got your animation on here with the vibrate tag, you could place this into a null, group it, duplicate that. Alright, move this to another location and just go back and play around with some of the settings here maybe put this on 50 and put this on 5 and what this is basically going to do is we've created some variation so now you can create a whole lot of these different butterflies quickly and easily using that vibrate tag 